Oh, I got another comment on one of my YouTube videos. Hmm, let me see. Get back to me in a couple of years. With Chinese parts, I'll be very surprised if they don't break like all the crap China sends here. Hmm. Oh, another one. China made. How durable. <laughs> okay. Oh, a third, a third comment. The question is, how many years can this car last? Ah, and somebody answered him already. I believe only time can really tell. I mean, that's true, right? I mean, there's really no way for me to know how these Chinese-made cars will do many years down the road. I mean, that also applies even to other cars coming from other countries. Nobody has a crystal ball to really know if these cars will really last the test of time. Ah, that's crazy. I mean, if there's only some way for me to find out ah, if these things would last, if these cars would last. Oh, what's that? Oh, who's this guy? Greetings, Reagan. I come to you from the future. I am you, five years from now. Older and wiser, yet still very handsome. I come here to answer that question in your mind. Are these Chinese cars reliable? Will they last five years with proper care and maintenance? Well, it's time for us to find out. Let's do this. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, that was supposed to be a magic effect. Anyway... <sighs> oh, okay. Well, let's see what he's going to say to us. Let's do this. Imagine that this is the future. The year is 2026, and in 2021, five years ago, you bought a Chang'an CS35 Plus, one of the few people who gambled on a Chinese car maker. Now, after five years of faithful service, your CS35 Plus has already logged in over 100,000 kilometers on its mileage with an average of 20,000 kilometers per year or 54 kilometers driven every day, nonstop for the past five years. It's as if there's no pandemics, no holidays. You drive every day, 54 kilometers daily. Now, since this is an imagined future, well, the good news there is there are no pandemics anymore in this 2026. So how exactly did we get this particular CS35 Plus sample anyway? Well, to put that reliability and durability issue to rest, Chang'an Philippines decided to run this particular CS35 Plus every day for a few months last 2020 until it reached 100,000 kilometers on its mileage. During that test period, this CS35 Plus never saw rest, was never shut down, and was driven all around Metro Manila and the neighboring provinces until it reached that desired mileage. Now, prior to this filming, I asked uh, Chang'an Philippines if they replaced any of the parts on this car, uh, but they told me and confidently told me in fact that all original parts remain the same and the only parts that were replaced are the usual parts that you, well, you replace during a regular PMS. Now, this is not going to be a regular review video and if you want the full specs and features of the CS35 Plus, you might as well click on my link above to watch my review video instead. Rather, in this video, we're going to see how well this CS35 Plus performed in its torture test. As you can see, the paint and the body panels held up pretty well to its 100,000 kilometer torture test. The paint is not as uh, shiny and as pristine as it used to be when it was brand new and it desperately needs uh, well, a good detail or at least a good polish. But as you can see, there are no rust spots and uh, there are no peeling or crumbling paint. Now I've tested the door hinges as well and uh, when you open and close the door hinges there are, there are no creaks, there are no squeaks to be heard and the doors also close with authority. Now the plastic body claddings here on the wheel wells look a little bit faded already and a little bit weathered but there are no uh, no peeling or cracked parts here and uh, to be honest guys this thing just needs a good detail and it would look practically brand new. Now when it comes to the lights, 
You'd expect the lights to have burned out already by now after being driven for over 100,000 kilometers, but that's not the case for this CS35+. Plus. The halogen headlights are still operating quite well, as do the LED DRLs and its turn signals. However, I did notice that the piano black finish here in the front grille area has faded somewhat and there are some scratches already present. So that really nice uh, glossy look to it, well, you won't find that here anymore. So overall, when you look at the exterior part of this CS35+, Plus, well, it looks like it held up pretty well. But how about the cabin? Let's check it out. Now for a car that has over 100,000 kilometers on its mileage, well, the interior has held up pretty well. The dashboard area, the door cards, they don't have any cracks or faded areas. Although the middle dashboard where you have this dark brushed aluminum trim, this plastic trim, already has uh, some uh, fade spots already. And the glossy piano black finish around it also has the usual scratches, which you'd expect from a vehicle that has over 100,000 kilometers on its clock. Now the instrument gauge uh, glass also has those micro scratches but again guys wow a hundred thousand kilometers I'm not one to complain now the shifter also has a little bit of play already it has a little bit of wobble as you can see I don't know if you could see it there all right uh, yeah which is again expected from a vehicle that has over a hundred thousand kilometers I'm not really complaining at all guys and that uh, shifter wobble it doesn't affect the vehicle's performance at all now when you look at the the steering wheel the material that they use here I don't know what kind of leather this is this is probably like super leather because usually for cars that are over 50,000 kilometers the leather material would be cracking already it would be ripping apart in places but this one is well it's a little bit faded but it's still 100 percent it's still pristine guys i mean you just have to subject this to a touch of leather conditioner and yeah this thing would look brand new again now one of the things that would uh, tell you about the wear and tear of uh, a car especially with this kind of mileage would be the driver's seat now if you look at the driver's seat normally at this level at 100,000 kilometers you'd see some cracks already in uh, the leather but we don't see that here in the driver's seat of the CS35 plus in fact it looks a little bit faded as well but you just take it through a round of leather conditioner and the leather seats the seat material itself of the driver's seat will look brand new again Wow now one of the biggest concerns of most people when it comes to these Chinese cars are the tech features that come with these cars and if they will last the test of time. Now I've really tried out this infotainment system of the CS35 Plus and I'm happy to report that this uh, touchscreen is still pretty responsive. It's quite responsive in fact and the image of the reverse camera is still usable. I mean I was madly surprised that the reverse camera was still working even at over 100,000 kilometers on the clock because normally these reverse cameras, they're the first ones to go. But no, on the CS35 Plus, the reverse camera is still working quite well. Now, when you go down to the climate control system, you'll see that the control panel of the climate control is all a touchscreen panel and the touch buttons are all working as well. Now, this is a glossy piano black finish, so you'd expect some micro scratches here and there, which is normal for a vehicle of this age. But the best news, guys, is that air conditioning is still pretty darn cold. I mean, there are some naysayers out there who are saying that, you know, these China cars are not tropicalized for the Philippines. And yeah, the air conditioning would be one of the first things to go because it's so hot here. Well, I hate to burst your bubble, guys, but this has 107,000 kilometers on its mileage, but the air conditioning system, spot on. Still really cold. It still is quite freezing, in fact, here inside. <laughs> now, another doohickey that a lot of people are saying that would be the first ones to break or another thing that might break in these cars is the electronic park brake button. As I mentioned, over 100,000 kilometers, guys, the electronic park brake of the CS35 Plus, it's still working. Now granted, this thing doesn't really have an uh, auto hold feature, so that might have contributed to its longevity, but still, this is still working, guys. Now lastly, you look up on your ceiling and you see that you have a sunroof, and some people are saying that the sunroof might introduce leaks inside the cabin, especially since we live in the Philippines with a lot of typhoons and monsoon rains and stuff like that. <sighs> 
Well, I've driven this car in the hard rain. Already? Whoa! Yeah, that's rain. <laughs> and nope, I didn't get wet. It didn't leak. So yes, this thing can withstand tropical weather. It's not an issue at all, guys. So it looks like the exterior and the interior bits of the CS35 Plus have held up well when it comes to that torture test. So it's time to take this out for a drive to show you if it could still take you to your destination. I mean, most people expect China cars to just fall apart, right? Well, it's time to find out. Now I know what you're thinking guys. You're probably thinking that I'm crazy or I'm brave or probably even nuts taking this thing out on the highway with over 100,000 kilometers on its clock. I mean, this thing might just break down and conk out on me right on the middle of the road. But here's the thing guys. I've been driving this CS35 Plus for the past few days now and this is my fourth outing out on the highway and I've not had any issues at all while I'm driving this thing. I mean, yeah, it's really crazy. In fact, one of those days when I was driving this on the highway, it was raining cats and dogs. And if you know the Philippines, you know that you gotta take rain seriously here because yeah, our rains and our monsoon season <laughs> it's not something you just uh, brush off guys. Now, the good thing here is the CS35 Plus comes with adequate power right from the get-go. I mean, we've got like 156 horses coming from that 1.4 liter turbocharged engine and normally vehicles as they age, you know, the engines would start to lose power. And uh, since we start off with a decent amount of power to begin with, well, the CS35 Plus still feels pretty engaging to drive. When you switch it to sport mode, this thing could still accelerate really well, as you can see what we're doing now. See, we could easily make uh, passes like that. Oh yeah, and you could pass other vehicles with utmost confidence. Now all of these statements of mine have to be taken with this disclaimer that you have to properly maintain your CS35 Plus. You couldn't have this kind of uh, confidence, this confidence level in your vehicle if you decide not to maintain it at all. So it's best to follow your dealer or your manufacturer's uh, preventive maintenance schedule to make sure that yeah, your, your car, any car, in fact, would perform at its most optimum level. Now, speaking of optimum levels, another figure that you'd expect to drop as a car ages is the fuel consumption or fuel economy. And I'm quite surprised with this uh, CS35 Plus. You see, one of those highway runs that I did was to measure the fuel economy of this thing. And I was uh, quite surprised, guys. In the highway, I was still able to get 14 kilometers per liter. So that is pretty decent for a vehicle that's uh, practically over five years old already. Uh, in the city, that figure dropped to 10 and a half kilometers per liter, 10.5 kilometers per liter, which you and I both know is still a decent level of city fuel economy. You see what kind of a wonky weather we have here in the Philippines? One minute it's sunny, the next it's raining and it's dark. Yeah, that's how it is here. But anyway, I told you a while back guys that one of the things that I noticed with the gear shifter was it's a little bit wobbly already, but I mentioned also that it didn't affect the performance of the transmission. And right now driving this on the highway, I can tell you guys that yes, it doesn't affect uh, the performance of the DCT. In fact, I kind of expected that it would be a bit jerky, especially in city traffic, but I didn't experience that at all. In fact, the DCT is, uh, well, it still feels uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, that shows you that even after 107,000 kilometers of constant tortuous driving, the clutch pack of this dual clutch transmission is still pretty robust. Now, I'm quite impressed. I'm really impressed, in fact, 
by this because normally you'd expect that something coming from China, this uh, Chang'an CS35 Plus, will have a transmission that would be problematic already at the 100,000 kilometer mark. But we, we're not experiencing that at all, guys. Yeah, this is the type of weather you'd expect in 2026. Yeah, we got like super hurricanes happening. I, could, I don't know if you could see, but the rain is coming down sideways and I could really feel the wind buffeting the CS35 Plus. No matter how well built and how sturdy this thing is, well, the forces of nature can really be felt inside. <laughs> Welcome to the Philippines, gentlemen <laughs> and ladies. Normally, when you're driving a vehicle as old as this, uh, well, you'd be kind of worried already when you're going through this kind of weather, but I'm still not worried, guys. In fact, the only thing that I'm hearing now is, yeah, I'm hearing a little bit of uh, wine coming from the wiper, the wipers. Yeah, but that's also pretty much expected from a vehicle that has 100,000 kilometers on the mileage. Another thing that you'd probably expect from a vehicle with 100,000 kilometers on the mileage is uh, the NVH levels would also probably suffer. Well, but we're driving on the highway, we're being buffeted by side winds and we have heavy rain pouring right there. And well, aside from the sound of the rain pattering on the car, I'm not really hearing much. Well, ex except for that tiny annoying whine coming from the wiper system. But uh, that's a minor annoyance for a vehicle with this kind of mileage. NVH levels is really still good. I mean, aside from, uh, well, that the sound of that uh, wiper, I'm not hearing any creaks or any annoying squeaks inside this car. So that should also tell you the kind of build quality that you will expect from something like this CS35+. Plus. Now, of course, in the several days that I've had this thing, I managed to really test out the suspension bits as well, just to see if there are areas of concern that would make me want to return this back to Chang'an, Philippines. But after driving this for several days on roads where potholes have magically appeared after several weeks of monsoon rain, well, I'm happy to report to you guys that, yeah, the suspension performed as expected. Now, there are some uh, some rattles that would happen, especially when you go over some larger potholes. But which car wouldn't have rattles anyway if they go through said large potholes? And if you're from the Philippines, you know what I'm talking about. You know the size of potholes that we get here, especially during the monsoon season. So yeah, this thing still performed really, really well. Now, when it comes to the actual suspension play, well, there is a little bit more uh, sh play in the struts, in the shocks. So you would know that this thing is not riding on brand new shocks uh, anymore. Uh, that there is a little bit more bounce than normal, especially when you're going through speed bumps, but it's not something that would make you want to replace the struts already. And the fact that we have, well, still the original factory struts in this thing, at 107,000 kilometers, man, <laughs> already deserves all the praise that we can throw at the CS35+. Plus. So in conclusion, guys, well, Chang'an Philippines managed to prove that the country of origin of any car is no longer a factor when it comes to its reliability. Because we now have a global standard for automotive manufacturing, well, these cars are expected to really run and drive for many, many years for as long as you make sure that you maintain the right preventive maintenance schedule. As long as you take good care of your vehicle and as long as you drive it sensibly, well, these things will return to you many, many years of hassle-free motoring. Wow! So now we know that Chang'an can build these quality vehicles that can last for over 100,000 years. Fantastic. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video and until my next one, thanks for watching.